Alright people, Max Salden here again, welcome back to another Starfield video. Today I'm just going to show this uh, kind of amusing incident that happened at my outpost. I was just back here uh, collecting some resources and then I noticed this ship coming into land. It was a bit unusual because I've never seen any other ships landing near my outpost. There is a base down there, uh, down from my outpost that I've never really explored. Uh, I just didn't have the time, so when I saw this ship coming into land, I was like, I'm actually going to steal that ship, because I'm pretty sure it's pirates or something that's down here, and I really should wipe these guys out by now, because uh, they're too close to my outpost, really, to be safe. Uh, so yeah, I've discovered this place, I uh, hadn't been here before, even though it's just down the mountain from my uh, base. So I got here and there were some of these epicleptic mercs or whatever you call them. Uh, they were around the place. I don't know if they got off the ship or if they were part of this outpost or this base that I've never been to before. Uh, so me and Sarah we decided to take them out and fight our way through them and get to the uh, ship. I've never actually uh, stolen a ship in the game yet. So I was quite eager to try it out and add another ship to my uh, fleet. And also, if it was if it turned out it was a terrible ship, I was like, uh, I might as well just like sell it. Uh, so yeah, I whipped out the shotguns, got in here, started taking people out. There was a lot more of them than I was actually expecting. But again, I don't know if these people actually got off the ship or they were always uh, down here at this base. It was probably for the best that I wiped them out because it's not really a great idea to have a bunch of pirates or mercs hanging out so close to my outpost. I don't know if mercs can actually attack your outpost or pirates can show up or whatever. So far the only other things that have attacked my outpost are just local wildlife. I think it's an enemy called the stalker enemy. Uh, or the creeper or something like that. It's a native inhabitant of this moon. A couple of them showed up outside my base before and uh, my turrets took them down but I don't know if pirates or anyone else can show up but I thought it was best to just get down here and investigate what was going on and hopefully steal this ship. Now it turned out this was actually one of these cultist ships or whatever they're called uh, it was a, it's a pretty small ship so there isn't a lot of them to fight on here but I managed to get on board come in uh, see one of them over here just sitting at a desk just took him down with a shotgun and then I decided to look around steal some stuff just take whatever they had uh, and then uh, I heard someone in the cockpit it was obviously the captain or whatever so I opened the door, head round the corner because I was expecting to uh, come under fire, tossed in a grenade, back round the corner, ran in, shotgun, blasted him to pieces, and then stole all his stuff. I was pretty happy with that little maneuver, because uh, if I just stood in front of the door I would have just been like blasted in the face with lasers there, I'm pretty sure. Pretty nice uh, looking cockpit. Uh, so I just sat in it because that's how you take over a ship. Uh, you have to sit in the pilot seat. Uh, and then this little pop up came up uh, telling me that like when I take off with this uh, this ship it'll be marked as my home ship. I didn't really want that exactly because my uh, Mantis ship that I've been using I prefer it to be my home ship. So I went back out of that menu and then ran around the uh, ships more looking for some more stuff to steal and then I noticed I hadn't raided their uh, cargo hold yet so I stole all that stuff and then I decided that I would just fly this ship back to uh, New Atlantis where I was gonna my plan was to speak to uh, what do you call the guy the guy at the spaceport who just like sells you ships or whatever I was I hadn't sold a ship before but I was guessing that he was the guy I would have to speak to to do that so I did explore the ship a bit more went up this ladder uh, looked for any other gear that was hidden uh, 
I didn't really see anything else worth stealing so I dropped back down and then decided I would just like uh, fly this ship out of here. Uh, Sarah likes to stand in front of me a lot and block my path but yeah managed to get around her pretty easily. Uh, again looked around the kitchen for any healing items or anything. Found some turkey. Thought that would be good to steal. Uh, and then I just got back in the pilot seat I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, this is where I decided to fly back to New Atlantis and try to sell this ship. I don't know if it's worth a whole lot, um, because it's just some random uh, cultist ship. Don't think there's anything that fancy about it. But I only have like three or four ships in my fleet at the moment, uh, including the starter ship. So I don't have that many ships to choose from. But I'm pretty happy with the uh, the Mantis ship, as I'm calling it. Uh, I think it's called the Razor Leaf. You know, the ship you get from that Mantis Lair of the Mantis side quest. It's a really uh, pretty decent ship early on. And I've been enjoying using it, and I upgraded it so that it could hold uh, five crew members. So that's the main reason I want to hang on Let's to that ship. To but yeah, I just flew this ship over here. I'm probably gonna sell it. Arsenal. And yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again with another Starfield video.